Hey guys today's video is on the 3 best robotic vacuums for pet hair. With so many products on the market, finding a high quality robot vacuum can be tricky. So, in this video, we will pick up 3 best robotic vacuums for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a like and share and subscribe. Before I start reviewing, I'm placing a link on each product selection in the description of this video, so you can check out the latest pricing and availability for anyone you might be interested in. We are so impressed with this little robot vacuum. And really good for your pet, if your pet is in the process of molting, then this robot vacuum is perfect. Plus, if you have carpeted floor and it's able to pull a lot of the hair out of the carpet. If you run it once a day or every other day with a shedding dog, you will be in good shape. It mapped your entire floor perfectly in the first run. After it is finished mapping, you can add labels to each room and schedule it to run at certain times and in the rooms that you choose. If it gets full while it's doing the cleaning session, it will find its way back to the docking station, empty the dust and dirt, and then go back to wherever it left off. This robot may not get every single bit of crumb and hair on its first go around, but it works very well. The roots it creates are logical, making parallel sweeps that align to the walls. It neatly goes around the legs of furniture, returning accurately to the path it was on before it met the obstacle. It does a reasonably good job each time it is run. I found that by running it daily for a few weeks and then two or three times per week, it kept your floors looking quite nice. It is fairly quiet, yes, this little bot is much quieter than expected. Naturally there is the noise created by the air going through it, but there is very little actual motor noise. Usually, when it is working, we are working at something else in a nearby room. It makes just enough noise that we can tell where it is, but not enough that it distracts from what we are doing and not enough noise to wake those sleeping in the next room. It's able to sneak under beds and tight to reach places very well. Battery life seems great and no concerns there. The docking station is small enough that it isn't an eyesore. It comes with a nice little mat that the robot drives onto. When the robot docks itself, empties into the docking reservoir after a few seconds. It can only map one floor in your house. If you're in a two-story house, you can still use it on other floors by moving it to the floor you want to clean and pressing the clean button on top of the vacuum but you won't be able to do this from the app. Corners are a real problem for the robot vacuum. Once in a while you need to get your finger into a wet paper towel to clean out the accumulating guck in the corners. However, the same is true when you vacuum with a conventional vacuum. The Nito D10 is the most affordable robot vacuum for pet hair, although it certainly isn't the cheapest robot vacuum on the market. You can't use circles to clean a square corner. Nito's D-shape allows for a 70% larger brush than those found in round robots along with an industry-leading 0.7-liter dirt bin that holds more dirt between cleanings. It offers corner-to-corner -corner and edge-to-edge -edge cleaning in a short amount of time and its unique Helix multi-surface brush is now 50% quieter on hard surfaces. Nito D10 offers 60% greater dirt pickup than D3 and D5. The powerful performance is combined with an easy-to-clean true HEPA filter that captures up to 99.97% of allergens and fine dust particles as small as 0.3 microns, making it a top choice for allergy sufferers. Equipped with energy-saving eco mode for general vacuuming to high-performance turbo mode and D10's exclusive new max mode means Nito's D10 gets the job done. The Nito D10 uses LaserSmart powered by LiDAR, same technology used in self-driving vehicles, to map and navigate your home with precision, leaving your carpets with those satisfying straight vacuum lines in no time. Because it uses lasers, not cameras, to navigate your home, it works just as well in low-light conditions, like under furniture and never records images of you and your belongings. It also doesn't have microphones on board and features state-of-the-art encryption, both on the robot and in the cloud. With regular software updates sent automatically, you can feel confident you're getting the latest features as soon as they're released. However, on the downside, it struggled with the edges and corners of rooms and customizing maps in, the app didn't always work. 
In addition, there's no self-emptying facility, you'll also have to empty this robot back yourself. The iRobot i3 Plus EVO is an excellent investment for those looking to upgrade their cleaning routine, streamline household tasks, and embrace the convenience of modern technology. With iRobot OS, you can choose to set your robot to automatically start cleaning when you leave and stop when you come home. Since life is unpredictable, your robot can notify you on the way home if it's still cleaning, so you can decide what happens when you arrive in the door. Setting it up was extremely straightforward when using the iRobot app on the phone. The robot came with low on charge right out of the box which I think is a requirement when shipping due to safety reasons. After the app set up, we gave it a bit of time to charge and proceeded with the smart map set up. Without vacuuming, it mapped out the whole floor plan of the house, and using the app we set different boundaries and named all the rooms accordingly. Once you get a map, you're happy with though, the app is pretty neat in how it lets you draw rooms. It will suggest rooms for you too, but those didn't make any sense. It's a little quirky drawing lines in the app to section off your house, but the experience is cool and rewarding. The app also sends a notification to your phone when it is successful. I'm also assuming it will notify you via a notification when it is stuck. The whole smart map mapping took about an hour while it learned how to avoid obstacles like tables, chairs, and more. It is fairly quiet while it's vacuuming. The only loud part, as expected was, when it self-emptied itself. I would not recommend setting a schedule for overnight because it will definitely wake everyone up when it empties itself. Overall, friendly, designed well, drawing maps and scheduling jobs is easy. Get lots of notifications on robot status, successful job, stuck, problems with the toilet, which is neat, probably the highlight of the product. If you got any questions on your mind about today's recommendations, go ahead and drop those in the comments below, I'll take some time to answer as many as I can. While you're down, there let us know what you think we should cover in our next video. What other products have you been on the hunt for? We'd love to help you on that hunt too, thank you guys for joining me on this really fun video. Let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing to HomeKit and be sure to click the notification bell as well to always be the first to know when we have new content drop. Stay healthy and I'll see you in another video real soon.